Now, if you need to sleep at least 8 hours just to be able to do something during the day, hey, I'm with you on that one, bud. But if you can sleep for less than 6 hours and still function without any trouble, chances are you're lucky to have short sleeper syndrome. It's a genetic condition that allows you to sleep much less than other people and not regret it at all. Better yet, there are no known side effects to it, so it's an all-around win. On a similar note, you ever wake up and look at your tousled hair with frustration? And now imagine having this disheveled look forever and not being able to do anything about it. It's called the uncombable hair syndrome. Your hair is always sticking out every which way, and no amount of water or hair gel can tame it. Luckily, it usually happens in kids and passes all by itself as they reach teenage years. Still, what an excuse to never waste time combing your hair in the morning. A second pair of arms would come in handy in a lot of situations, but an extra pair of fingers might be helpful too. About one in every 500 people is born with six digits on either hand. Hey, give me a high six! In most cases, the extra fingers are considered useless and removed. But research has shown that those who left them could do lots of everyday things with just one hand, like tying their shoelaces or playing video games with game pads. Hey, I wonder if this is the next stage of human evolution after all. I guess buying gloves could also be challenging. If something doesn't seem right to you in this hand, it's because it has a triphalangeal thumb. About 1 in 25,000 people are born with the thumbs on their hands having three phalanges or bones instead of the usual two, giving their hands a very extraordinary look. And when it happens in combination with six fingers, which isn't too rare by the way, the picture is even more cryptic. Such a condition doesn't bring much discomfort. In fact, some actions are even easier done with a thumb that has an extra phalange. Imagine falling from the roof of a 10-story building and getting away with a few bruises and scratches, but no broken bones whatsoever. Such a genetic anomaly was discovered back in 1994. It makes a person's bones about 8 times denser than normal, which basically makes them indestructible. There was a case where a man had gotten in a serious car crash and not only survived, but had not a single fracture. What's even better, for him at least, is that the feature seems to be hereditary. It means he could pass it down to his kids, and they'll become unbreakable too. The next condition wouldn't give you any unusual abilities, but it looks beautiful. Heterochromia makes your eyes two different colors, say, one hazel and the other blue. It has to do with the levels of melanin in your body, a pigment that affects the color of your skin, hair, and yes, your eyes. There's also partial heterochromia, when only a part of one of your eyes is differently colored. It's not too common in humans, but I bet you've seen it in dogs, huskies in particular. This breed is naturally predisposed to this condition, and I think it looks super cool. You've probably heard that cholesterol doesn't do much good for your body, and it's usually hard to get rid of it. Well, there are people who have a natural immunity against it. A specific gene in their bodies doesn't allow cholesterol to pile up in their blood, and so they can easily avoid most troubles it may otherwise cause. Too low levels of it might be an issue as well, but in most cases, it's not inhibited, just kept at bay. Our eyes allow us to see millions of colors and shades thanks to three types of cones inside of them. Each type is responsible for seeing a range of shades between the three primary colors, red, green, and blue. But there are people who have an extra cone type. They're called tetrachromats, and we can't even start to imagine what the world looks like to them. They see millions more shades than others do and can show you the difference between two virtually similar colors. Interestingly, most mammals used to have four types of cones in their eyes in the distant past but lost one in the process of evolution. A less impressive, but not less rare condition is the so-called double crown. Now, a crown is that patch of hair on top of your head that goes in a spiral. It's pretty hard to miss if you have short hair, especially because it's the hardest part to smooth down. Yeah. People normally have one, but there are unlucky individuals to have two and double the smoothing trouble. Still, some believe having a double crown is, on the contrary, a sign of good luck 
or even high intelligence. If you ever wanted to meet a real-life Superman or Supergirl, seek a person with inactive myostatin protein. That's a real genetic anomaly that makes a person super strong. Their muscles grow without inhibition from early age. Kids with inactivated myostatin develop physically much faster than their peers, and when grown up, they can achieve superior athletic success. This condition was first observed in cows. Some bovines grew to be exceptionally muscular with little signs of body fat. Turns out humans can be just like that as well. Climbing mountains is not only physically difficult, but also tough on the lungs. Breathing becomes harder the closer you get to the sky because the air is thinner up there. Well, not so much for the Tibetans, though. Research has shown that mountain dwellers have an exclusive genetic mutation. They can easily breathe the thin mountain air as if they were in a valley. This also makes them extremely hardy, being able to do much more hard work than regular people. That's why the gene responsible for this adaptation is also called the superathlete gene. The rarest genetic condition there probably is, called the golden blood, can be a lifesaver for millions of people. There are just 40 known carriers of this blood type in the world. They don't have any Rh blood antigens, which means anyone can accept their blood, even those with extremely rare blood types. And although their blood isn't golden in color, it's certainly worth more than just gold. Now, if you remember Elizabeth Taylor, you probably also recall how beautiful and expressive her eyes were. That was in part thanks to a rare genetic disorder, double eyelashes. A small number of people around the world have two rows of eyelashes instead of one, making them look just gorgeous. On the downside, the second row might get into the eye, causing irritation. So sometimes, people with this condition have to pluck the excess eyelashes. Identical twins are rare enough themselves, but there's a super rare occasion of different twins. Even when they're born from the same egg, sometimes kids don't even resemble each other. In some cases, even skin color can be different. Such kids are often born to mixed-race couples. One of the twins could inherit a gene for white skin, for example, and the other a gene for dark skin, and voila! Phytoligo is a condition that makes the skin, hair, and nails lose color in patches because of the lack of melanin. About 2% of all people in the world have this disorder, and surprisingly, it's become something of a fashion trend nowadays. There are several successful fashion models who have Vitaligo, and you can't argue that they look magnificent. Cleft chin, just like dimples on the cheeks, looks adorable, and it's also a genetic mutation. It appears when the bones or muscles in the lower jaw don't fuse completely during the baby's development inside the womb. It's hereditary, but if you have a cleft chin, it doesn't mean your kids will have it too. There are environmental factors that can prevent it from developing. If vitiligo means you have a partial lack of melanin, albinism is a condition where this pigment is absent from your body altogether. Very few people have it, and they look completely out of this world with their snow-white skin, hair, eyelashes, and pale blue or gray eyes. Animals can have it too. There are particularly marvelous cases of albino peacocks, and even crocodiles that are completely white. Another type of albinism is called ocular albinism. The difference is that it only affects the eyes. The pigment is lacking in the irises, making the eyes look wonderfully alien. The downside is that the lack of melanin makes the eyes really sensitive to light. So people with this condition have to take great care of their sight.